Okay, I'm joined by Chris Martin today, and I'm very excited because we're going to hear all about his brand new podcast, uh, which uh, has only just come out pretty much. Chris, how are you? I'm good, mate. Thanks for having me. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Um, Can you tell us all about the show, what it is, how it came about? What the show, the the podcast called Getting My Dad to Say I Love You. Uh, and the, the, it came about during lockdown. I'm, I live in um, America most of the time now, but I was Zooming some friends out there and we were just, we were doing, a, you know, the Zoom games, the kind of pub quiz and the, the, all the, some form of gaming, which is fine. Yeah. But then to have a few drinks and then we just start talking about our parents and then uh, all of us bonded. There were some writers out in LA and a couple of other performers. And we were just like, I was bonding over how... Um, my dad and someone else's dad have the inability to say the phrase "I love you," and then no, we st- I started going. Actually, has my dad ever said "I love you"? So then I went on and zoomed my mum and dad, and then I was like, "Dad, have you ever said I love you to me?" And he was like, "Probably." And then, uh, and then I was like, "All right, we'll just say it." And then he just couldn't say it. He can't. He couldn't say it. So I was like, "That's weird." And then I was like, "Oh, have I just been doing?" everything in my career to make make him say I love you. So the idea of the podcast is I chat to other comedians um, and, you know, at some point season two and three, we'll have writers and actors and it's kind of to find out um, whether we just want our parents to say I love you and if they've said it before. And at the end of it, I'm hoping my dad will finally say it. Yeah, wow. That's immediately got me thinking about my relationship with my dad, which exactly. I guess is going to be happening a lot with, exactly, uh, with yeah. your show and people tuning in. Um, and I found out just before this that you are actually at your mum and dad's house right now, right? I so, am. I'm live. I'm live in their in their house, um, struggling to help my dad do something on a computer, which uh, is uh, I know it's kind of hack, but it's it's never less. It's never not frustrating trying to do oh, a, yeah. especially because just the way he maintains a computer is just disgusting. It's dis- his desktop. His desktop gave me a mental breakdown just now. Just, just so full of shit. Incredible. Well, I imagine if you tell him that, then that's not going to help towards your. Uh, your it's not going to help. It's not going to help. So you say you have guests um, and different comedians and everything in, in this, especially in this first series. Can you give us an idea of who you've had on? Yes. What I've done actually is I've put the whole podcast up in one chunk so you can binge it i know podcasts go week by week but i was kind of like oh it's it's eight eps and so we've got romesh rob beckett roisin Connerty, uh ed gamble jamali maddox tiff stevenson uh jenny zagrino who's a great american comedian and my old podcast partner carl donnelly so it's a good mix mix of people nice. with different backgrounds um yeah it's good and everyone's got a slightly different there's a lot of recurring stuff that comes up, but there's also some some nice specific stuff as well. Yeah, I like that. There's a yeah, good mix there, as you say. A lot of uh, big podcasters, so you know that they're going to know what they're doing. They're going to have their mic set up because I'm assuming you've record recorded, especially with you you being in the states and things. You just did this all over over Zoom. I did it all over the yeah via the internet. It's that weird thing. Some po- I know sometimes it's great to be like in a room. Uh, mm. with the same person as for certain mediums but um, this seemed to work good it's kind of one on one on one I think is good you can do that on zoom so we got to yeah we got some like funny stories from some people and then we got some kind of I think Ramesh made me nearly cry actually not intentionally really but he wasn't yeah but it was like also made me laugh and then Beckett was just making jokes about his dick and stuff whilst well but really to cover up the fact that he uh, he's a quite sweet bloke who has a lot of deep feelings but as we all do, we all uh, use humour to uh, cover up the fact that we're desperately needing a cuddle from our mum and dad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, cool. So I like the idea that you have done this sort of, you, you know, you're going to do series or um, seasons, you know, as I'm sure you say a lot more now that you I know it's weird. I keep getting there. that wrong. I'm like, yeah, they say seasons series is the whole show in America. But yeah. Ah, OK. But. Yeah, it's quite a different way of doing it because I think a lot of comedians, especially during lockdown when people were popping up with podcasts, were like, well, I'll just do this weekly. But I guess it's quite nice for you knowing that you're going to record eight. You can get them all done in your own time, get them all polished, nice, ready to go, upload them and then take some time off and enjoy it and then and see the reaction. Yeah, no, I I used to do a weekly podcast. I, I'd, I'd like to do another weekly podcast, but I think on something like this, it, it kind of, it's not like time depends it's not it's evergreen is that the phrase where so it can be 
recorded whenever it doesn't feel irrelevant anymore whereas sometimes if you're kind of just chatting you need to have a bit of a handle on what's happening in the world but i feel like your family dynamics aren't going to you know is well i guess depends on how much computer admin you've got to do week by week for your family but it sta- it stays pretty um samey so i thought yeah just get the series and then let's see how it goes and hopefully people like it and then yeah there's i've got a few people in mind for two C's, C series sorry uk <laughs> people series two i've got to hate myself when i say anything fuck i said i said soccer the other day and i nearly cut my wow. own larynx out as a punishment That's for a doing one. that yeah yeah, I think, yes, everybody's saying, saying uh, seasons now, so it's cool. That one's fine, I think. Um, so what's the plan? When are you thinking of bringing that out? Are you just going to, obviously, in the new year new year at some point, but it, what are we thinking? No, it's, all, it's, it's out when, oh, what, series, two, series two? Yeah, yeah, I, think yeah, that's, yeah. I think I just want to get through the festive period um, uh, is, the, is the main thing. And then I think it's like, yeah, this has come out for, in December. So I think give it a month or two, and then I'd say springtime in 2021 would be good um i'm a bit i'm working on a show at the moment which is taking up quite a lot of time um but i i'm on i've got christmas holidays for two weeks but then yeah i finished that mid-february so i'm hoping yeah m- maybe february march get them recorded to get that out yeah perfect um and then final question would be i mean i was kind of hoping you, know, you are at your parents house now and you have helped your dad with his laptop or his his computer just before still this. hasn't still hasn't said i love you for all my help I've well been. that's the thing i would have loved it if he'd run in in the background and just uh shouted i love you but <laughs> if, if, if that were to happen is that it you know what, then is what? it game yeah where do i go from that i uh, maybe yeah. it's yeah once you open that tap when does it maybe it'd be like getting my dad to 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 stop saying i love you it's like it's a, yeah. it's a bit much well, that could be good it's a bit much john um yeah i guess it's i guess if he says it it's still it's still uh it doesn't ruin the whole concept because i'm still i chat to him at the top and the tail and then i i chat to the the guests and uh it, just because he said oh, i mean nice. i hope he says it i hope he says it because you never know what's going to happen life's short so i hope he says exactly. it exactly but um i think the podcast works whether he says it or not but um i can't ruin whether he says it in season one uh yet uh that's how i get people that's how i get people to listen mate leave a hook will john martin say he loves me we'll find out yeah what a moment it will be or uh maybe it won't be but yeah if he if he does that'd be a big payoff for the listeners so yeah people should go and check it out all right chris thank you very much for coming on thanks mate appreciate it